Hello friends, welcome back to another video. So in this video, we are going to take a look at how to install Kibana on Ubuntu 20.04. So for this uh, video, we are also going to configure Kibana with Elasticsearch. So let's get started. So if you haven't watched my previous video, I covered how to install Elasticsearch on your Ubuntu 20.04 system. So go ahead and check that out and then you can follow this video alongside with it. So let's get started. So the first thing that you need to do is install all the uh, updates and up see if everything is up to date on your system. So let's do apt apt update. See everything is up. All the repositories are up to date, and after that, what you need to do is need to install all the dependencies. Copy these commands. These commands will also be in the description of the video. Right, you need to add the public GPG key for the repository for uh, Kibana and paste it over here. So if you get anything other than okay, that means that there is an error. So you need to fix those errors. So after that, just uh, add this uh, the repository link into your sources file. And after that, run just once again run app update to fetch all the uh, letters to packages from all the repositories. First, all the updated packages from the repositories. What you need to do is add install Kibana is put 7.7.1. Uh, so we are installing uh, version 7.7.1 for Elasticsearch Kibana uh, because uh, there, if you uh, if the both services are not of the same version, they will cause conflict and uh, they will not work properly with each other. So it is important to install uh, Kibana and Elasticsearch over of same version. And for if you are installing Elasticsearch for 7.7.1, you need to install Kibana version 7.7.1 also to make them work. Once you have done that. What we need to do is we need to edit the config file for Kibana. So do nano dash etc and Kibana Kibana dot hit enter and over here we need to uncomment a few things. The first thing is uh, server dot host and we are going to change it from local host to zero dot zero dot zero so that it is accessible over the internet. And after that we are going to Assign it to a, our Elasticsearch host, which is running on localhost and also on our uh, public IP. So I'm just going to keep it on localhost and just control X and save it. And once you have saved the config, what you need to do is just follow the same steps system CTL. Reload uh, reload and hit enter and it is going to reload all the services and after that just enable Kibana so that it uh, runs whenever the system boots up and after that you start the service. And hit enter and just to see if there were any error paused. So just run status to see if there were any errors. It doesn't look like there were any errors while in our config file and Kibana is working correctly. So just now go to your browser and change the I, uh, port from 9200 to 5061. That is the port for Kibana and wait for it to do. So let me see. Oh, it is 5601. Just hit enter. 
now it is giving us a message that Kubana server is not ready yet. So once again check the status if there were any errors. It doesn't seem like there were any errors over here. So Kubana is just setting up all the required indexes in Elasticsearch so that it can work properly. So just give it a second and I will be back once uh, this is done. So the Kibana has finished the initialization process with Elasticsearch and now you can see that it is loading the Kibana interface and over here it is going to tell us that there, there is no uh, data in our Elasticsearch server so do we want to Im uh, import some sample data over here so I am not going to import any sample data uh, right now but we will be pop uh, in coming up videos we will be populating Elasticsearch with our custom logs from uh, Apache server and uh, we will also cover how to import data from CSV file into our Elasticsearch indices so stay tuned for that so that's it for this video if you have any questions do comment down below and thanks for watching